Welcome to Inquiring Minds. My name is Doug and I'm back with a special fountain pen video. The Inquiring Minds Winter Blowout Sale. Yes, I'm running out of pen storage room and the pen purchasing fund is running rather low. So I'm having another Ink Inquiring Mind fountain pen blowout sale. Each of the pens for sale has a corresponding video review on YouTube. I'll briefly show and describe the pens here and provide the links to the YouTube reviews in the description. You can also go to my Wix site webpage where I have photos of the pens and links to the YouTube reviews. You can see that link right down here and in the description below. To purchase a pen, contact me by email at inkquiringminds at gmail.com and I'll provide the information for you to purchase via my PayPal account. I can only accept PayPal and I'm charging $20 US for shipping. I'll combine shipping and if the actual shipping charges are less than $20, I'll refund the difference via PayPal refund. I will ship to anywhere Canada Post will ship with tracking and insurance. If the shipping is more than $20, I'll contact you to see if you wish to pay the extra or end the sale. All of these pens are used, some have only been used for the review, and some are over 70 years old, so will show signs of wear. All of the pens are working properly when shipped. So buyer beware, don't expect a brand new pen. All prices are in US dollars, and let's get started right now. I have 20 pens to show, so I'll move quickly through them. In no particular order, the Paniter Avatar Twin Tank Touchdown. This is a vacuum filler that has two reservoirs and a cool bayonet locking, an unlocking system for the blind cap. The cap is magnetic, so it makes a really cool fidget spinner. And it has a number six size steel medium Paniter nib. I'm selling it for $160 US. The Eureka Diamond Decagon Ebonite. I just reviewed this fountain pen last week. It's a beautiful rosewood-like ebonite with a diamond faceted cap. It can be eyedroppered to give you four milliliters of ink. And it has a number six size steel Bach two-toned microblasted medium nib. And it's a hand-tuned nib that is remarkable. I'm selling this pen for $75 US. The Eureka Peak. This was my first Eureka fountain pen, and it's made of an incredible new plastic called Peak, P-E-E-K. It also can be eyedroppered and has a number six size steel Bach nib, again, that's hand-tuned by Dave at Eureka Pens. I'm selling this pen for $85 US. The Gravitas Steel Pocket Pen. The Gravitas Steel Pocket Pen is a unique fountain pen. It barely fits on my stand. It's turned from a solid rod of 304 stainless steel by Ben Walsh. I don't know of another pocket pen that has a number eight size nib. This is a Jinhao number eight steel fine nib. The body has a flat spot on it as a roll stop. The pen posts very deeply and securely, and it takes standard international short cartridges only. It's a substantial pen and it writes beautifully. And I'm selling this pen for $100 US. The Tianzi Irushi Radin Starry Night. This is an incredibly beautiful fountain pen. The Irushi lacquer is done by hand in a long process of multiple layers of lacquer and polish and is inlaid with Radin Abalone and Mother of Pearl. This one's pattern is called Starry Night. The nib is a medium number six size steel, and the pen has a standard international converter, but can be eyedroppered as well. And it comes with the wood presentation box. I'm selling it for $225 US. They're $300 US new. The Opus 88 Bella. This is a beautiful acrylic Japanese eyedropper from Opus 88. I continue to get mail about my video review of this pen correcting me that Opus 88 is a Taiwanese company and so this is not a Japanese eyedropper. It's amazing how many people volunteer their ignorance on a public forum. A Japanese eyedropper is a style of filling system and this Taiwanese made fountain pen is an example of that style. So stop correcting me with your ignorance. There's a knob at the back that unscrews which is attached to a rod. So it might look like a vacuum filler, but it's not. So please don't correct me. 
You eyedropper the ink into the barrel and open and close the blind cap to open or close the ink valve, regulating the flow of ink and preventing burping due to temperature or pressure changes. Here endeth the lesson. It has a beautiful, bouncy, number six size steel medium nib. And I'm selling this pen for $100 US. The Asvine P20 Piston Filler. I voted the Asvine P20 Piston Filler one of the best pens of 2023. I have three of them, one in Galaxy, one in Amber, and this one in Purple. That's one too many for me, and I'm not a big Purple fan anyway. This one has a number six size steel medium nib, and I'm selling it for $25 US. The Asvine P80 Skeleton Piston Filler. Here's another Asvine piston filler with a number six size medium steel nib. This one is in chrome and transparent blue, and I'm selling it for $25 US. The Ranga 3C Red Ebonite. This is one of my three Ranga fountain pens. It's in red ebonite, has a Yovo number six size medium nib, and it can be eyedroppered. It's a beautiful large size but light ebonite pen. I'm selling it for $50. US. The Hongdian N11 Rhombus. This is a beautiful faceted anodized aluminum finish cartridge converter pen with a number six size steel medium nib. The hardware and the nib are ruthenium plated. I'm selling this pen for $25 US. The Majon A1 Snakeskin. I now have four of these Majon retractable nib fountain pens. Since I'm not much of a retractable fountain pen user, one of them has to go. This has a really nice smooth snakeskin pattern, has the stock extra fine steel nib, and comes with the extra pack containing the metal cartridge protector, two extra empty cartridges, one with a stopper, and a small eyedropper. I'm selling this pen for $25 US. Now we get into some of my large pen BBS collection that I'm selling. The first is this pen BBS 456 vacuum filler in black. It has a black cap and barrel and an enamel coated pen BBS number six size fine nib. I'm selling this vacuum filler for $45 US. And here's another pen BBS 456. This one is in a rare finish called Niangao. These are highly sought after and collectible. This one comes with a two-toned Pen BBS number six size steel fine nib, and I'm selling it for $50 US. Here's another Niango finished Pen BBS. This time it's a 355 bulk filler, and it has a number six size steel fine Pen BBS nib, and I'm selling it for $50 US. And yes, a third Niangao for sale. This is the classic Pen BBS 308. This is a cartridge converter pen or eyedropper pen and it has a number six size steel fine nib. And I'm selling it for $50 US. And yes, you're not seeing things. I'm selling a Pen BBS in Amber is a Cat. This is the Pen BBS 489 touchdown filler. You unscrew the blind cap and withdraw the chrome sleeve, put the nib in the ink, push the rod back down, and then a sack inside a metal sleeve is compressed and then the compression is released at the bottom of the stroke and the sack fills with ink. It's a lovely system that was invented by Schaefer back in the day. This Amber is a Cat finished fountain pen has a number six size steel fine nib and it has those unique cat paws on it. This is the only nib from Pen BBS that has that. And I'm selling it for $60 US. And I must be truly crazy because I'm selling a Pen BBS pen in my favorite color, Galaxy. This is a 495 piston filler. This is the newest model from Pen BBS, and the piston is a huge improvement over their previous piston filler. This gorgeous galaxy blue acrylic pen comes with a number six size steel fine nib, and I'm selling it for $60 US. Now we get into some of my vintage restorations. In order to afford to do future restorations, I have to part with some of my favorites, I'm afraid. And I've got three of my very favorites. And no, I'm not selling my Azure Blue Parker Vacuumatic. I write with this pen every day. But I am parting with three very special Parker Vacuumatics. This is a 1946 Parker Vacuumatic Silver Pearl. This is the third generation Vacuumatic Speedline and is fully restored. 
and it has a 14 karat gold fine nib and silver trim. I'm selling it for $120 US. Next is my 1938 Parker Vacumatic Lockdown in Emerald Pearl. This is a first generation Vacumatic, was made in Canada, and has a two tone 14 karat gold fine nib that is juicy and flexible. The lockdown filler works perfectly and the pen has been completely restored. And I'm selling this pen for $175 US. And the last one, and this one's tough to let go. This is my 1935 Parker Vacumatic Lockdown in Burgundy Pearl. This is another first generation Vacumatic, but this one has a section of the same beautiful striped Burgundy celluloid as the cap and the barrel. The blind cap covering the lockdown filler is a little fragile because the original threads are gone. It works, but you just have to be careful with it. And it has a unique shaped 14 karat gold Parker Arrow medium nib that is slightly stub-like in character. It has some bounce to it, but isn't as flexible as the Emerald Pearl lockdown is. This pen has been fully serviced and restored and I'm selling it, no, I'm sacrificing it for $175 US. And there you have it, 20 pens for your shopping pleasure. I'll combine shipping on multiple orders. I'll answer your email requests, but pens will go to the first to make a successful payment to my PayPal. If you paid and someone else beats you to it, I will fully refund your payment to you. If Canada Post will not provide tracking and insurance to your destination, I'm afraid there's nothing I can do about it. In addition to these pens, I have two other fountain pens that have been on my Wix website for sale for several weeks now. Please take a look at the Parker 51 Demi and the Schaefer Triumph pen and pencil set. And that just leaves it for me to say, thank you for watching, and that's all she wrote. I made this.